My name is David Feely. I'm the Director of Football Sports Performance at Duke University. Sports science is the availability to use technology in a lifting and running setting to tangibly improve our athletes' performance. The neat thing about sports science is that we can track every movement we do in this room or on the field at all times. We can always tangibly measure how fast somebody's running, how fast they're slowing down, how they're getting stronger, or maybe they're becoming more powerful on a daily basis. We use a GPS tracking device system which tracks every movement our players use when they're running on the field or in our indoor. We also have a jumping mechanism that shows how well our athletes push off the plate, which shows their overall power, and then how well they absorb shock when landing, which shows how strong they are for the day. We also have devices that show bar speed, which is huge for us because we can measure how fast a barbell is moving to measure power output. And then finally, we have an apparatus that we use for hamstring strength and unilateral, most importantly, to show whether there's an asymmetry between their right and left leg, which can lead to injury prevention in their hamstrings. So I think when you start looking at the data and you start looking at sports science, you have to start with the end in mind, which is the game. What are we actually training for? We can now quantify what a game looks like, what the demands look like for each athlete in each position. So then you can go back and you can build a practice plan to make sure that you're meeting those demands. And then in our off-season program, in our lifting program, we can make sure that we are building our guys up to be able to meet the demands of practice where the demands of practice then get them ready to play the games. So we don't have to wonder, is this gonna carry over? Is this going to apply? We know what a game looks like. We know what a practice looks like. So we know that our training sessions can now build the robustness of the system to make sure they can handle those demands. We use it a, a lot of different ways to be able to help our student athletes. One being motivation, being able to find ways to be able to, for an individual to be able to improve upon himself, being able to give him feedback on the numbers in which he's reaching right now and where he's trying to attain, or if he's improving or going down. In practice, I'm sitting behind the laptop there, I can be able to see their velocities at that time. If a guy hits a new PR at that moment with the bullhorn, I'm, I'm able to be able to call out the numbers. That in turn, it allows the guy to know right then where he's at, it excites him, but also his peers around him are hearing the numbers in which he's reaching it gives them another level if they're not there to try to reach. Another way is progression, being able to make sure that the guys are progressing in a way that's not too fast, too quick for them. Another way, injury prevention through load management, as well as return to play. And the technology takes all of the guesswork out of that as far as where is the athlete at in the rehab process, are they getting better, and are they returning back to those baseline numbers in order to make sure that they don't have a reoccurrence of injury going forward. I can confidently say that what we're doing here at Duke University is different than most of the country, and the biggest reason starts with the head football coach. Coach Elko's buy-in to the program and the numbers and wanting to know how our athletes are doing on a daily basis and actually helping him build practice plans and monitoring practice is a huge, huge benefit. It really is a comprehensive plan that starts with the coaching staff upstairs down to the weight room to every player to make sure that we're doing everything to put the best product on the field. Our fourth quarter score of 133 to 78 is almost unmatched. Our soft tissue injury reduction from this year compared to the last four years combined isn't even close. And our player buy-in is off the charts because they understand that this data is helping them perform better and they now tangibly know that we have an advantage over other people. That's how we differ from everybody else in the country.